Hello. Hello, Mr. Gillespie. My name is Jamie. I'll be your practitioner today. Tell me what brings you in. Um, I've had some chest congestion. How long has that been going on? A couple weeks. About two weeks. So chest congestion. Can you tell me more about that? Well, today I kind of noticed my heartbeat for the first time. And when you say you notice your heartbeat, can you tell me what that means to you? Well, I'm not sure if it's like a palpation or what, but it's, mm -hmm. it's something I just all of a sudden notice. Does it come and go or is it constant? Mm, it comes and goes. Do you have any pain associated with this? Not really, no. Um, any pressure or Doesn't dullness? Doesn't seem to be other than the congestion. Does your chest feel tight? It feels congested. Okay. Um, and then, did the palpitation start today? Or has that been going on a while? I noticed them today. Okay. Uh, chest, and you, you said you've had chest congestion for about two weeks. Have you been coughing? Um, not so much coughing. I did take a cold medicine. Oh, okay. Which one? Um, just an over-the-counter. Okay, just an over-the-counter cold medicine. Oh, I see you have it with. I'm just going to take a look. Oh, looks like it does have Sudafed in it. Okay, I'm just going to set this aside. Um, how about runny nose? No. Stuffy nose? No. How about ear pain? No. Um, or decreased hearing ringing in the ears? No. Um, any changes in your taste or smell? Nothing I'm aware of. How about sore throat? Just throat feels fine. Itchy watery eyes? No. Any dizziness? No. Shortness of breath? Uh, maybe a little bit just because of all the congestion. Yeah. Does it seem to get worse with activity or just all the time? Mm, seems to be just kind of all the time. Okay. Do you have any history of sleep apnea? No. Okay. Um, have you had any international travel? No. Within the last month or so? No. Okay. okay. No travel. Um, do you have any history of asthma? No. Uh, and this cough, have you been producing any sputum? Has it been productive or dry? Mm, dry. Okay, so the cough is dry. And um, I do see in your medication list that you take lisinopril for blood pressure. How long have you been on lisinopril? A couple years. A couple years, okay. Um, any chest pain? Um, no. How about caffeine? Coffee. Coffee. How much do you drink per day? Mm, half a pot in the morning. Half of a pot. Six uh, cups, maybe. Six cups in the morning. Any drug use? No. How about smoking? No. Smokeless tobacco? No. Are you diabetic? No. Um, and then, how's your activity? Are you active? Do you have a sedentary job? Mm, pretty active. What do you do for work? Construction. Okay. Um, and then this cough, I know you said it's dry. Um, have you ever coughed up blood? No. Any night sweats? No. Any fevers? No. I see you don't have a fever here as well. So it sounds like you've had chest congestion, dry cough for about two weeks, um, and you just started having palpitations today. You do... Um, you have been using this Sudafed over the counter, plus you drink a half a pot of coffee. Um, certainly those sort of th things, especially combined, can cause palpitations. Um, do you have any family history of heart problems? No. Has anybody ever, anybody like your father, brother, uncle ever died early of any heart, heart problems? No. Diagnosed with any arrhythmias? Does no. anybody have AFib or a pacemaker in your family? No. Okay, and next I would like to do um, a quick exam, if that's okay. Sure. I'm just going to lay you back a little bit around 30 degrees. There you go. Perfect. So I'm going to do a cardiac and a respiratory assessment on you. I'm just going to expose you just a little bit here so I can take a look. I'm just going to look shape, shape. No barrel chest, no discoloration, warm, deep, and dry. No retractions, no tugging. No 
Jupiter Venus dysfunction. No finger clubbing. No pale capillary refill is brisk. both regular and you said no sore throat or pain with swallowing correct correct Breath in for me. And out. All right. Breath in and out. In and out. All right. In and out. In and out. In and out. Okay. Now just regular breathing. Change to my bell. Let's get all some to your neck. I'm just going to listen to your back neck, so sit up. Back to the diaphragm, deep breath in and out. Big breath in and out, and again. I'm gonna have you say 99. 99. Again. 99. 99. 99. And again. 99. 99. 99. 99. Good. Lungs sound are clear throughout. No strider, no wheezing, no crackles or rails. Primitus. resonant throughout, no dullness. Um, you do have a normal exam. Um, of course, I'm concerned about the palpitations you're having. This could just be from the Sudafed. How, do you know how much you're taking? Whatever the recommended dose is. Okay, wonderful. So you're taking the recommended dose, but with as much caffeine as you um, are having, that can, be, um, that can be just an expected side effect. I would like to do an electrocardiogram, an EKG. Um, as well as a chest x-ray. Um, your, your lungs sound clear. 
um, in your normal exam, but I would still like to get a chest x-ray just because of the shortness of breath you're having. Um, I want to get a good um, size of your lungs, make sure you're not um, not having any any um, abnormalities on the chest x-ray. I would also like to do a viral swab, um, test you for the flu, COVID, and RSV as well. Um, I'm not going to do any nebulizers or anything at this time um, for, because you're not wheezing and also because you're still having palpitations. I don't want to make that worse. Um, so let's get you over to your imaging and the um, EKG and we'll go from there. Okay, thank you. Thank you.